Hi, this is Manny Rick here from Elite Defense Systems, and I want to go over just kind of a quick little solo ground fighting drill. I know a lot of people ask me, you know, what can I do to work on my ground fighting if I don't have a partner with me? And this is a great example of what we can do. What you guys are going to need is, is a bigger, thicker, heavier pad, uh, just like this. A lot of times you kind of have what's called the air cushion pads, which are pads like this, but they're pretty much filled with air inside. This one's actually filled with material, so it's a fairly heavy pad as far as this goes. So you can use whatever you got. If all you do have is a small handheld pad, it's probably not the best choice, but you know what, once again, if it's, if it's the only thing you have, it's the only thing you have, so you have to use it. So once again, we're going to be working on uh, mainly superior positions with this drill, and the goal of here is to really make sure that you work on proper weight distribution. As we work around this pad, you'll see what I mean here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do uh, just a quick little cycle of it, and then we'll go back and kind of quickly cover the details. We want to go ahead and put this uh, pad right on the floor right here. We go ahead and we pick it right up, press it up to the sky, put it right back down, sprawl on out, go around to the side right here, from this position, put our hands on either side of the pad, both ends right here, do a push up, go right back here, press down on the top, scooch over to mount position. I can throw in a couple punches if I want, put pressure on here again, foot goes over so we can go up to knee mount on the other side, back down again, cross over. If you want to punch, that's fine. Pressure again, going back over, and once again going back up to knee mount. Once we go to knee mount right here, put our hands right on the lower end, pop back out to sprawl position. From sprawl position, we pull back in, and now we're ready to go ahead and start the process again, but now we're going the other side. And that is a complete cycle uh, from pretty much start to finish. Let me just kind of go over a couple of details right here. When we start in this position, we want to go ahead and we're going to press it up, press it back down. Right now, there's not a whole lot of weight actually on the pad. So what we want to do is sprawl on out. Now I have weight going right on the pad. Once I go here, knee goes around here. Notice that this leg is piped out here. This foot right here is not touching the ground. That means all my weight's going right into the pad right here. I go ahead, push up from right here, once again, all the weight on the back, pressing up and down, go right back here to my uh, knee mount position. From this position right here, the pressure on the person's what would be their upper chest. Scooch back over here, here's my punching. Pressure here again, so I'm just not doing this. I'm focusing on putting pressure on the person at all times. I go around to this side, back up to here. Pressure again. Scooch back over. I can do here, or I can work elbows. Headbutts are fine as well. Once again, going back over to this position. Back up again, working on balancing myself out. Right from right here, hands go lower. Go back up to the sprawl position, and then I take the legs in, back in again, and that obviously is just about half of the cycle right there, but once again, focusing a little bit more on the details. So once again, go ahead and have fun with this. If you go ahead and you use a full cycle, which is both sides, and you have the goal of getting in 20 reps, I guarantee you it'd be a heck of a workout. So have fun with this, and we'll see you in the next video.